normal payment. So once you have done this, now you can go to process down payment. And you can see this is the down payment which uh, was there. You can select this. And now you can go to simulate. And once you simulate, you will see that the line item with indicator A has been debited. When we actually received the down payment, this was on the credit side, so debited now. So this will be knocked off. And, and uh, another line item of 10,000 with a normal indicator will be created over here. So you can go and you can post it. So this has been posted. Once it has been posted now, so now we can go to the ledger account and you can refresh the ledger and you will see the change. So now the change you can see is that the indicator has moved. Let's take the layout. So you can see the spatial gel indicator been taken over here. So you can see now the indicator is blank. Even the document type of K DZ has moved from DZ to D A. Why? Because that indicator, down payment indicator document has been cleared from red to green. That means it has been cleared and a normal customer payment line has been created by the system because we just created the customer request cleared we have just cleared the customer down payment so once you clear it the indicator will get cleared off and a a normal customer payment line item will be created so that is what has been created over here with this 10000 so once this has been done now we can proceed to the remaining payment from the customer that is of $15000 so that the whole cycle can come over so now moving up to the incoming payment F-28 enter need to select your date suppose I take the date as 19th only then select your bank account business area and the payment now so the payment is of 25,000 invoice 10,000 has been received as a as an advance so now Fifteen thousand dollars is what is left. Take the date. So this is the final payment, and you need to select the customer over here. So once you have done this, you can go to this process open item, and now you can select these two line items. So these are already selected, and you can see the balance of fifteen thousand. And outside, we just have mentioned 15,000. So, this is how things move, and this has been done. So, you can go to your simulate, and this is what the entry is generated where the bank is debited with $15,000 and the and the customer is credited with $15,000. So, once this document is fine, you can go and you can post it. Posted document number is generated as of you can see in the screen below. So this is how things move over here you can see the document number now if you want to see you can again go to your ledger account over here and when I refresh it you will see the changes that this will there will not be any line item over here all this red will move to green so refreshing it so you can see now there is no item selected means there is no open item left in the system for that particular customer why because the whole cycle has completed the payment a down payment has all been now settled with against the invoices so once this all cycle is done the system moves this open items to cleared items so that there is no confusion while looking after to the customer ledger account and it makes things more easier for reconciliation the things for reconciliation uh, because uh, things become easier there will be only limited line items or transactions which are pending that will be reflected on your on your sys on your customer ledger but still if you want to see the customer line items that has been cleared already by the system even you can see that so if you want only the pending transaction that is open item if you want to what has been already cleared 
that means there is no confusion everything is okay in those invoices and payment is already done without any delay or restrictions or pending things so you can go to this clear items and you can put the date range over here so suppose I put the date range of 19 19th and now I can execute this and you will see that your line item is reflecting over here so the, these are the line items which were there this DZ was the down payment line item which was been cleared later on with TA so as to convert the down payment to normal item and later on this okay these are the things which is there fifteen thousand is dollars sorry fifteen thousand dollars is the actual last payment which we received as a as a payable from the customer ten thousand is what been converted from the down payment request to the normal payment and twenty five thousand dollar was the invoice so dr is the customer invoice da is the is the uh, customer down payment which has been converted to customer normal payment and DZ is the customer payment so you can see these all has been cleared there is a clearing document number also there you can see the clearing date is also mentioned too clearing date means the date on which this invoice has been settled against their payments and things are clear so this is how it's been done so the first scenario of creating a request then making a down payment against it and then after down payment how the down payment can be converted to a normal customer payment has been done with FDS 39 and we again book the invoice against that then we receive the pending payment and we saw how all the transactions have been settled against the invoice and the the invoice has been settled with against the payments so that is what been done in the first scenario the second scenario is where there is no down payment request a direct down payment payment can be received so for that there is nothing else to do we just need to execute FDS 29 directly so once you go to execute FDS 29 in the second case you just have to select the same things as we did in the first case just the difference is in the first case we we went to this request so as to select the request number against which the down payment will be received in the second case there is no request so we will not select any request from the system like we can go to post a down payment now suppose I take the down payment of twenty thousand dollars so this is what the screen which I need to fill the date type company code currency customer account number the special jewel indicator by which I will be receiving the money from the customer as a down payment then the bank details had to be filled text if anything is required to be filled in that so once you fill these you can now move to the next that is enter so once you enter it will take you to the next screen again I need to select the amount that is twenty thousand dollars business area that's it now once you have done this you need to go to simulate so you can see the difference that in the first screen in the first case when the down payment request was there we moved on the header and we selected the request but when there is no request when you enter it takes you to the second screen and where you fill the next line item details so once this has been filled you can go to simulate the transaction and you can see the transaction have been simulated and it shows what is the entry which will be posted in the system once uh, the preview is okay so once this preview is okay the bank is debited with twenty thousand dollars and the customer is credited with twenty thousand dollars and the down payment indicator is over here a you can see that so if everything is fine you can go and you can post click on the post button and the document is posted so this is how the down payment can be made without any request so you don't need to select the request as there is no request in the system against that so now if you want to check the ledger of the customer earlier there was no item because all the item got cleared for this particular customer now you can see that when you execute it there is one particular item 
as an open item that is the pending item and that is twenty thousand dollars which is the advance payment which you just received so after this the next of the things will move as usual as we did in the first case that is the down payment request so against the down payment request you receive the down payment but now there is no request so a direct down payment can be received and once the down payment is received you can simply go ahead and you can book the invoice and the rest of the payment can be selected from the customer through FDS 28 so you can have the incoming payment with the transaction FDS 28 and then once you have received that and there is no problem you can you can move on and you can clear the transactions among themselves so this is how your down payment of customers has been done and even you can check your balances right now there is only 20,000 of balance in your customer ledger account and the same can be seen with the transaction FD 10N so if you move to FD 10N enter you can see over here as well execute and right now the balance over here is, is what okay there is a mistake and what you need to do is fine so you can see the balance over here right now is nothing but my ledger account shows that there was a balance of twenty thousand dollars but that twenty thousand dollar was a down payment so that will be reflected to you under the special ledger general ledger account so you need to go to special ledger account and you can see over here there is a down payment of 20,000 now that has been reflected so this is how you can check your balances through the customer balance display report that is FD10N so this is all about the down payment request customer down payment request you can process these things you can create a multiple spatial GL transactions so that you can you can test things with multiple spatial GL indicators, how things move and how uh, the request is created and cleared among themselves and how this whole uh, settlement is done against the invoice with the rest of the payment from the customer. So this is it all about the down payment. The down payment topic is over. We'll meet in the next training again with a new topic. Till then, keep practicing. Thank you.